commencing self-destruct sequence. What are you doing? What? Get Moon Girl. Oh, yeah. Get Moon Girl! These Randalls came out of nowhere! And what is their deal? Usually the heroes are trying to get the villains, not the other way around! Look alive, Double D! Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry to sweat on your fiesta, but there are more baddies at Schuster O'Clock. Get Moon Girl! Oh, they're having a sale. <laughs> Devil Dinosaur. Shield knows who we are! Hey, Shield Lady! Agent Maria Held. Thanks for calling this in. Beehive symbol, huh? Who are these Iron Man wannabes anyway? Wannabes? Ha, <laughs> girl, let's see what you did there. We try. No clue who they are. Devil and I were on patrol, and next thing I know, these jokers are all up in our bees' wax. I thought it's usually the hero chasing the villain, not the other way around. <sighs> She gets me. Let me run this symbol through our database and see what we can get out of them at the precinct. Until then, ping me if you get any more bees in your bonnet. That's me. Consider yourself punk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a cute gif of devil dancing. Don't make me regret giving you my number. Little help, big guy? Y'all. Moon Girl would be nada without her squad. No muscle without devils, no swag without me, and no nothing without the mysterious mastermind behind this. Think of a jiggy, the original Moon Girl. Wrapped to the OMG. I wonder what she'd say if she knew you used her plans to bring a dinosaur to NYC and become superheroes. Hold up. That's bonkers. <laughs> yeah, she probably would say that. Wait a minute. I knew I'd seen that beehive thing before. But what would the people who worked with the OMG want with the new MG? I always wondered why I could never find any trace of her. You know, what if she didn't choose to disappear? What if those bee listers... See what I did there? Nice. What if they forced her into hiding? <clears throat> or worse, what if they're killer bees? And... What if the new Moon Girl is next? We need to let S.H.I.E.L.D. know what we know. Work, Moon Girl. Our database turned up bupkis. Oh, our girl's database is up here, you know? Who are you again? Casey Maria Eva Duarte Goldberg Calderon, Moon Girl's hype woman and best friend. You're not sharing my phone number with other people, are you? That's a link to my website. 
If you're looking for a marketing consultant, we're not. those are some new logo and uniform ideas. With my help, Shields could stand for super hot intelligence expert looking dope. Casey, not now. Hey, gotta shoot your shot. So, there was an original Moon Girl. Who was she? No idea. But I'm thinking these buzz killers might know. You can talk to them, but I don't think they're gonna give up much. They haven't said a. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, Moon Girl. If I wanted to match this slow, I would have played the computer or your dad. Sorry, I'm just... Distracted, baby girl? You know I can read you like a cereal box. What's on your mind? <laughs> you got me, Mimi. You always seem to get me. I get you. And I love you. To the moon and back. Memes, you do realize that the other pieces besides the queen can move too, right? The queen can win the game all on her own. Because she got it like that. But you're just running away the whole time. If you let some of your other pieces do the work, you might not lose. Checkmate in five. See? <laughs> Good game, baby. We're out of butter, James. Will you help this customer while I grab some? Give me one second. I, I got it. What can I get for you? What's good here, Skaterella? Oh, it's all good. But ain't no thing like Mimi's wings. 425, please. Um, you, you know what? This one's on the house. I don't know why she said that. Those rings are not on the house. Uh, you want these to go? Mm. Oh, yes. Um. Hey, Lou. I'm in trouble, Case. Moon Girl trouble or Lunella trouble? Both. One of those B-movie bad guys we should set the rink and, and, you know, what if they know who I am? <gasps> who Moon Girl is? Meet me at the lab. <laughs> Karate your grandmama. Huh? What? Mimi? <laughs> now, what's the code for self destruct, sweetheart? Code for... Wait, wait. What Don't you... tell me you followed my blueprints and didn't include the self destruct programming. Why would I include your blueprints? Age ain't nothing but an integer. Too black to crack. <gasps> you. You. You're. We've come a long way since Professor Kirby's class. And this is just the first verse. You ready to make history, Miriam? Ah, ah, ah. Remember? We're supposed to use code names from now on. I already picked mine. Oh, did you now? Lay it on me, then. Call me Moon Girl. Deep breaths, baby girl. Look, I can only imagine how you're feeling. You must have a million questions firing off in that beautiful brain of yours, but they're gonna have to hold. We need to destroy this right now. They cannot get their hands on it. Are, are you talking about all those worker bees who've been coming for their queen? Worker bees? Oh, the symbol. That's cute. They call themselves the Enclave. The base was the beehive. And trust me when I say that they are some bad mamma jammas. Did you know anything about a meeting? Of course not. And this early, they never hear before we are. What are they doing? They're presenting it without us? Mm. 
Your money's been well spent, sir. Our invention will revolutionize space travel. Imagine going to the moon and back in the blink of an eye. Record scratch! You trying to play a gig without us? Excuse me. This is a classified meeting. Yeah, about our creation. Without my schematics and her coding, it couldn't open a can of peaches. General, I can assure you, these people didn't make anything but a pot of coffee. Oh, heck no! We've busted our butts on this, and now you're gonna just... What? Erase us? This is our baby. If you say that you're the papa, then why don't you just show us how it works? Well, I, uh, it's rather involved, but, uh... <clears throat> Allow me. Wait! We haven't tested it! We can't be sure if... What's left to be sure of anymore, Miriam? Finished, Morlack, and so is she. You won't even be able to find a job washing dishes after I. <laughs> I ever dream. It doesn't just open portals through space, it opens portals through dimensions into the multiverse. Meaning there's no telling where those people ended up. This thing is dangerous. No, don't you see, MG? This is our ticket. If we can harness this power, no one can ever erase us. What's happening here? Are you hurt? Gentlemen, there's been a change in leadership. If he gets here before we destroy this generator, he's gonna try to open portals to other dimensions and... Bedroom window, bedroom window, bedroom window. <gasps> stay here, I got this. No, you stay here, I got this. No, Mimi, wait! Come on, Dee, we'll go around the side. We gotta help Mimi. <laughs> Looks like you need to juice up your security, Moon Girl. You are Moon Girl, correct? Not just crashing a pad. How'd you get past my detection field? It gives no meaning to the phrase, out of sight. Am I right? Devil! Tame your Tyrannosaur, kid. You practically invited me here. Oh, thanks for that, by the way. Firing up my interdimensional jukebox so I could finally pinpoint you. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> I'm all up in your space and haven't even introduced myself. I'm Maris Morlack, the big bad Broham in charge of the Unclave. And I'm not here to fight. I don't fight little girls. That's why I brought them. Home training? And that's what going through my grandbaby's stuff. Even James Senior knows better than that. Miriam, that you? Oh, yeah, honey, I'm right here. Miriam, I always forget. Do you need Joker cards for spades? Yep, you need to be playing with a full deck. Oh, my God, sorry, but. Okay, you shuffle, I'll grab another deck from the kitchen. Ah, I got it! Well, thank you, Mimi. I'll deal you in. 
Why don't we make this a party? Give me that portal by any means necessary. Don't let him anywhere near my portal, Z. You hear me? <sighs> like the moon in the sky, you're so bright, love to see you shine. It's written in the stars in your DNA. You were born to do the rich legacy. Moon girl, you could have it all this your world. The galaxy you never saw. you're so protected. I really do. I was stoned bad when the original Moon Girl blew up my first portal generator. And no matter how hard I tried to rebuild it, it wouldn't work without her code. But when I saw that past due fossil on the Lower East Side, ah, I knew you had done it. My baby lives. That's why you sick your busy bees on me? It's just math. Find Moon Girl equals find the portal. Yeah, when you need me, call my name. Now you're not for show me me play no games. You get it from your granny, Moon Girl OG. Time for plan B. You just have to build me a new portal. Catch. <laughs> say, well, I didn't dare dream we'd find you two. It has been a minute, huh? <laughs> the last time I saw you, you were stabbing me in the back. That's because you'd lost your everlasting mind. <laughs> so, the new moon girl is what? Your grandbaby? <laughs> I love it. I, everyone loves a reboot. Now you two can rebuild the portal together. This is between us grown-ups, Maris. Leave her out of it. You let us out of... Uh, uh, There's no point, baby. I gotta help Devil. I designed those chem cuffs myself. It's a thermal lock. It engages on the heat of your body. <gasps> for your thoughts. If this hover van works like my hover wings, then maybe it has... A liquid nitrogen cooling system. <sighs> yes! Okay. Mimi, we gotta roll out. Lunella, I created this problem a long time ago. I need to be the one to solve it. But I can help you. 
You've helped enough already, Lou. I can never forgive myself for putting you in danger. You're in all this... this mess because of me. But no, I... I love you. To the moon and back. No!